but that other episode that's going to come out is going to be setting up picking up weapons so like uh you know if you see a gun on the ground you can look at it pick it up and that the same system will also lead into our object interaction later on so this will be a system they'll be a lot larger and uh or a lot a lot more widespread in use and it will uh have two different modes that i will demonstrate because not everyone's going to want the same kind of interaction system so i'm going to demonstrate two interaction systems but first we need a camera like multiple cameras set up and also it's nice to just have a third person camera set up to see your animation to see everything and even if you just want a third person game it's going to be nice to actually have those features so we're going to you know just tie in those features uh you know kind of think like uh battlefront you know it's it's a first person game and it can be played third person as well so it's really kind of however you want to play it so first thing we want to go is hop into our uh blueprints uh player character folder um and we need to make a enum uh, blueprints enum and we need to make it uh, cam in use. And we're gonna just have two cameras here. The one camera, of course, is going to be first person, and the other one is going to be third person. So you can say FP cam and TP or third person cam. And that's really all you need for that. And then we need to go and create an input. So if we go to project settings, go to input, action mappings, and uh, do one called change camera. Or you can do it change view, however you want. Um, I set it to V personally. And we can go down here, back into our player character. change camera there's our event and uh, first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable called use TPS movement and that's something that'll come into play later um, but we're just gonna have it now and we want to drag off set actually first what we want to set and I'll, I'll there will be multiple ways to change this and I'll demonstrate uh, the methods for if you want to press and hold for the third person view or if you want um, the swap but right now we're just gonna do like the swap like you press and it's uh, swaps between which view you're um, using and the simple node for that is flip-flop um, and so a is going to uh, turn it on and B is going to turn it off so um, let's see what we need to do after this is use controller yaw needs to be true and then we need to grab the cameras that we're using and even if we're not necessarily using this this is just to ensure that it is not in use um, deactivate and then we need to grab our first person camera let's move this down here um, activate it then we need to create another variable called cam in use and we'll just get that enum cam in use compile real quick and uh, alt drag that out to get now at first person cam and then on B we need to just kind of flip these so select them control W to duplicate connect that to B um, this needs to be true that needs to be false pretty straightforward but uh, 
we're going to have some more code that is going to be constantly updated because, like I said, I'm doing things step by step. So we're actually going to come back in here later once we do some more item stuff. So once we do all this item tracing stuff that I'm talking about in a few episodes, I think next episode, I believe, and then we set up some more variables, whatnot, for the weapon and inventory, kind of like uh, rudimentary inventory. We're going to be going through lots of our different code that we've already set up and adding uh, adding more um, just paths and stuff. And then what we need to do is just grab the follow camera, activate that. And deactivate this. And you might think, oh, you might want to do it in order. And you can if, if you have certain things that you know are like obviously tied to the order in which your cameras deactivate, that is definitely going to be uh, necessary if you have stuff in the specific order. But with this, it acti it activates so instantaneously that you're not really going to notice. It's not like there's going to be a, a blank spot like, or, or anything weird that's going to happen. Like it, It's going to happen so quickly that it, you don't have to worry about like swapping the cameras over or, or whatnot, at least in this, in this specific scenario. Then... We need to just duplicate this, and the cam in use that we're going to obviously be selecting is TP cam. So, save that up. Um, and now that we do that, if we go in here and play, and we press V. Oh, okay, I see the issue there, but we press V. So, hold on. If I play, we press V puts us into first person and it, or we're already in first person and then it's assuming we wanted to go into first person and then we press V again now we're in third person so here's the thing with that the reason it's not switching us into third person is because of what uh, or I guess our default camera it already is we're already using the first person stuff when we spawn in so when we press V or you know to change camera and it's going to the a option we are already are the a option it has no way of knowing that we're something else so the way to i guess remedy that would instead be having a branch or um yeah a branch and then you just get get cam in use and just get equal or Let's see, equal, yeah, equal enum. And can be like, okay, if cam in use equals first person cam, we want it, or uh, let's say third person cam just because of how we already have it. If the cam in use is third person cam, obviously we want to switch <laughs> to, uh, we want to switch to first person. So we drag that there. If we are, uh, if we're not third person cam, we're first person, we want to be third person, so we go there. And that should solve it. Make sure that whatever you have by default, so if your default camera is first person, make sure you set that like as the default variable. Whereas if your um, you know, default camera is third person, you know, and there is a, obviously a way to make that um, something that's saved in your settings, but obviously we're not covering that right now. But just for you know, so you know that whenever you're playing, you can uh, know what's causing maybe that gap. So now if we play, press V, throw us into third person, press V again, throws us into first person. So now we have cameras switching and you can see there is, there is some uh, issues, but that's because we don't have third person movement set up. So this is actually, uh, this is actually kind of where some of the code that I was talking about that I hadn't set up yet, this is where that will come into play because we haven't set up all the variables for, um, what's the word? For our, for our weapons. So what we need to do for this, since we by default are spawning with a weapon, we're going to do a little bit of jumping ahead. But on uh, right after this, we need to actually branch and we're going to be creating a variable like I said it's a little ahead of what we're doing but we need a branch and promote this to a variable call it is or item yeah is sorry item 
equipped. And if it's true, the yaw needs to be true. If it's false, the yaw can be false. Use, And the reason why is because of the kind of control scheme that gives. If you don't want like this way to control your character, and you, we'll see that in a second. But if you don't want this method, then obviously, you know, don't... Uh, don't have have this done but what it allows and then obviously it wasn't fully set up because the character wasn't walking around correctly because I haven't demonstrated all the third person movements but this is the way we have this set up is that way uh, the, he'll always follow the camera if he has a weapon equipped whereas uh, if, if he doesn't have a weapon equipped in third person camera you can actually s spin around the character without him following the camera and then when you move he will move uh, the direction you're pointing but that's for another time and for some other videos for sure. All right, so that's how we get uh, the cameras changed. And obviously there's more to come in future episodes. So stick around. I hope that was easy for you guys to follow because in the following episode, we're going to be doing some line traces and some area overlaps to equip a weapon. And actually, we're probably going to do the area overlaps later. So yeah. But anyways... Stick around for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.